Hey guys, so it's my first YouTube tutorial. I thought I'd do a little bit of some classic Gabby grunge with this kind of elongated grungy kind of eye look. Added some glitter obviously and lashes. Oh my god, I put lashes on guys. It's obviously a real deal here. So if you want to see how I achieve this look, keep on watching. Okay, so I've already done my base, I've done my brows, and I've done some cream bronzer and everything, so we're just going to go straight to my eyes. I'm going to start by taking a MAC 217 and Sugar Pill Butter Cupcake, and I'm literally going to start to just put this in the crease. Oh my god. And extend it out. Like, I'm drawing like a line outward to do the whole eye. I like to do, when I'm working with a color, I like to work with the lower lash line too. So I'm going to switch it up. Going with a, whoop, a Sigma E45, I believe that's called, and take that same sugar pill butter cupcake and I'm going to whoop, go right underneath the lash line. And y'all know I don't care about dragging my shadow like three inches. <laughs> under my eyes, so I'm not worrying about that now. I'm just worried about connecting it, so we're kind of getting this good tapered length. And this is good for any eye shape, really. Like, you just have to kind of think about your eye going, just elongating it. And then you can go actually back with your um, MAC 217 and just blend that out. Bam! Okay, so I really like to go through with a clean brush. This is a Luxie, oh God, 205 and just kind of use circular motions and back and forth motions to just make sure that everything is nice and clean and blended and even going under the eye. Now I'm going to go in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Tempera and I'm going to take that on the brush that comes in the Modern Renaissance palette and just go under the brow bone with it. This is not only going to highlight the brow bone but also kind of clean up if we've made our transition color really high I like to bring it all the way down. Oop. Even kind of taking the brush upwards and almost like carving it out. Boop. And then I'll go back with that same brush that we used before and go back over that just to make sure that the brow bone color isn't getting too harsh on us. Okay, so next I'm going in with one of my favorite colors of all time. It's NARS Exhibit A Blush. It is a bright tomato red blush. And I'm going in with a slightly tinier. This is a Sigma E25. And I'm just going to start making this a little bit lower in the crease. So I'm just deepening the crease with this and going back and forth. Not being, and you want to add a little at a time. You don't want to go hard in the paint right off the bat with this because you want to make sure that it doesn't overshadow the yellow but it kind of marries with it. And I'm bringing that all the way across the eyelid and just deeper into the crease. I'm just bringing it out, and you don't want to bring it all the way out. I'm using even lighter pressure here. Go back in with my first brush and Go over that to make sure that it's all kind of blended together. I'll typically go back through with all of my brushes that I've used, even my big blender. I go in with a pencil brush. This is a Zoeva 230 Luxe pencil brush and start to just smoke out underneath the lash line and meeting up with that red color. And then the original Butter Cupcake brush. Butter Cupcake. And then softly diffuse that. So it's starting to get a little bit more tapered. Oh. Oh, I'm actually going to bring some of that red-orange closer to the front. Okay, so next we're going to go in with that same E45 brush Boop. Meep. that we used for the under the lower lash line, but we're going in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Red Ochre instead. I'm going to add a little bit of rustiness to this look, and this acts as a nice kind of like darker red-brown. <laughs> So I'm going to start really focusing this, or really just deepening the crease here with all these matte shades, which is just what I like to do in general. 
I'm going into the crease deeper with this red ochre shade. And that's just going to act to make this a little bit darker, a little bit smokier, and kind of neutralize this look because it's been really bright. And now adding something a little bit, like not so vivid, but darker is going to really nail this look down. This color is really one of my favorites. It's definitely like a beautiful rusty color. Beautiful. So I'm even going to intensify that more by taking the same look, the same Zoeva pencil brush that we used before and really adding it to the outer corner in kind of like a little V shape. V, V. And just making sure to kind of taper that out. Go back in with that E25 with all the red blush on it. And kind of just like a little whisper. <laughs> if blending could be a whisper, do that. I'm going to go under the eye again with red ochre and my trusty e.l.f. brush that looks like this. And just going to put that close to the lower lash line. Boop. This is really going to add freaking drama. And then you can, of course, go back in with all your other brushes. This one has the red on it. This one has the yellow on it. Because you just don't want it to get muddy. Okay, so next I'm going to take a flat brush, a MAC 242 brush, and some NYX Ultra Pearl Mania Pigment in Rust. And this is what I'm going to pop on the lid first. And I'm not worrying about going over the matte shades that are on my lid because I don't care about them. I care about the shimmer. Being slick. And I wet my brush with a little bit of Max Fix Plus just because not only does that make the pigment much more intense, it sticks it, makes it sticky. Not worrying too much because I'm also going to go over top of this with something else. I'm also going to take a little bit under the eye just to kind of even it out. Like just with that same brush. I don't like it to be too top heavy. With shimmers, I like to kind of open the eye up and add shimmers on both on both parts of the eye. Ooh, ooh. Now I want to have a blinding inner corner as always. So I'm going to wet a Japanesque 232 brush with Fix Plus and go in with Lime Crime Fly, which is like a really cool goldy green color. And I'm just going to smush that in there. This is going to play really well with what I'm going to add next. <laughs> I'm just kind of like packing that to get the most pigmentation possible. And then I'll go back with my crease brush and soften. Now, if you thought I wasn't going to add glitter to my first ever YouTube look, <laughs> you're crazy. So, I'm going in with some Too Faced glitter glue. I'm going to pop this right in the center of the lid. Going in with that same brush with Lime Crime Aries Glitter, which I think is discontinued, but if you guys can find this somewhere, it's so pretty. Oh my god. My camera might be going out of focus for this glitter because it's that epic. I really like this glitter because it has like a nice like gold red green look and it's so pretty. So it plays really well with the inner corner color that we added. So this is where I kind of evaluate where I want to go next. I'm thinking I want to add a little bit of Lime Crime Mud to the outer corner of the eye just to make it a little bit darker because it's dark but I feel like it could just use a little bit, just a smidge. So I'm taking that same pencil brush we were using before, and I'm going to take my same little elfy brush, beep, taking mud by Lime Crime under the eye, just on the outer part portion. Okay, so I added some lashes and mascara off camera. These are Ardell Wispies, and this is the finished eye look. Okay, so now I'm going to finish off the rest of the face. I'm going to take my original Venus palette and my Real Techniques setting brush, setting brush and this color aura which is my new favorite highlighter it's so pretty guys I'm just gonna focus this on the top of the cheekbones I'm really not afraid to go 
cray cray with the highlighter i don't know if you guys can tell but it's just like this soft pale gold and it really just like lifts the face makes it super glowy and even in just kind of like a natural way and i'm blending it to make sure there's no harsh lines just kind of like in the little swirlies i think it's kind of being blown out by the lighting here but i don't know what to do and then i'm going to take a little bit above the brow just a little swim just a little that then i'm going to take my old trusty japanese brush the 232 that i use on the inner corner and just cleaning that off i'm going to take a little bit of aura and put it right on the tip right there. and i'm going to go right down the bridge right at the top where i have a little bit of like it's just like a little uneven so this is going to straighten that up there and I'm gonna take it on the cupid's bow of the lip because I like to look like I have a mustache of glow like let's get real if you have a smaller upper lip this is your best friend I like to kind of clean it up right in the middle and right on the lip. I'm gonna take my Kat Von D shade and light contour kit obviously obsessed with this center one I'm gonna take that center one and the, the lightest one because I'm pale people on a Zoeva face paintbrush and just go right underneath the nose to lift it up and then down the sides and on top and then I'm going to be real extra here I'm going to take a old concealer brush that has concealer on it go down the sides so I don't have like Squidward nose where it's just like I don't like that and then I'm going to take another like kind of little brush and go into the top lightest shade there and go right down the center and that's really going to straighten it up you don't have to do that but I just like it because also kind of makes it less dark on the top I'm going to go back in there I'm going to go in with Trace Gold by MAC. This is one of my favorites. It's really bronzy so it's just going to keep the face really neutral and I'm going to take it on a Zoeva 127 brush this is like my favorite blush brush especially when it's fresh and clean which it's not sadly i forgot to clean it and just keep that right between the contour and the highlight and it's going to kind of marry the two together i like to do blush last because it's the first thing to disappear off the face anyways and i like to bring it kind of close to the front of the face to round out the face and then back on the cheekbone to kind of make it a little bit more like I'm just gonna put like an apricot gloss on. This is Buxom Gloss and then in the shade Chloe. And these are really nice because they also plump the lip. So, I love gloss, guys. Gloss is life. Mm hmm. Put my hair back and spray my face with some setting spray. This is MAC Fix Plus. Keeps you really glowy and kind of melts all your powders down so they don't look so powdery on the skin, especially when you're dry like me. We don't like that shit. Alright guys, that's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Feel free to subscribe and hit that thumbs up if you like this video and want to see more like it. And leave comments down below what you want to see next. I definitely want to film like a foundation routine, skincare kind of thing. So that will be coming up. But anything else that you guys are thinking of, let me know. Talk to you later. Bye babes.